what's going on youtube welcome back nick back with another video and this video is just going to be on a few things that you can do to your ar uh, just to make it feel a little bit more premium of an ar so I'm gonna come oh this ar that i got it really wasn't it really wasn't that expensive i got a uh, psa i'm pretty sure these were blem lowers um I got one for, I got two actually. My dad has one. I got I got it for uh, 139 each. So uh, this is 139. I got this whole uh, 223 wild side charging upper from Bear Creek Arsenal for about 180 or 200 with tax and shipping and everything. So it was 200 dollars. I didn't go over. I didn't go over 200 dollars. It was not 201 it was $200 on the dot so a few things that you can do just to make your AR feel a little bit more premium so first thing you can do is you can get a pair of just sights on it I'm gonna get some more sights these are kind of these are kind of wonky these are like meant for airsoft but I mean they they're doing the job right now so I got this uh, dagger defense red dot light it's probably just a Chinesium light. It's got a, it's got the four, the four reticles that you can switch between. What, bro? What are you talking about, man? And um, another thing that I would get just to make your AR feel a little bit more premium is get a maybe extended mag release. Um, get a better safety. So I got a safety coming in. Um, it's definitely a spicy safety, but it's not, not uh, illegal. So there's a few videos on it out already that made me get it, specifically PSR. But this, uh, just get a better safety. So one thing with these budget ARs is they always have a little bit of a wobble to them. They always like the upper little wobbles just a little bit, just enough that you can feel it. So one thing that you can help with that is getting some uh like a couple of earplugs and just putting them under just putting them under here so i have some of the orange earplugs under there right there they kind of meet up with this and they they close the gap between the lower and the upper receiver so it makes it feel a little bit less wobbly a little bit stiffer and uh i like it because it's, it makes it feel a little bit more of a premium build instead of just what a $400 build. And another thing that I'll get is uh, just check all these screws. So these screws on the handguard, I know a lot of people don't like the Bear Creek Arsenal handguards. I don't mind it, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take these screws out and maybe Loctite them, put Loctite on them and make sure that they are not going anywhere. You just look up what the pound specs are or if you're like me just hand tighten them just to get them snug so that they're not like so they're not backing out on you when you go shooting and um, another thing that I got with this one is the bad lever the bad lever makes it feel way more premium even though it's just like a $30 part and it kind of goes in the trigger guard it does, it's not supposed to make it feel premium it's more like uh, since the manual of the arms on this AR is way different Sorry about that. Since the manual of arms is way different from uh, regular ARs, it is uh, this is the side charger. So I just figured, might as well just get the uh, the bad lever, since it just make it like a completely different type of AR. It still it shoots five five six two two three. That's what the two two three wild barrels for. It shoots pretty much. It shoots everything. I'm about to take it out to the range and get a few a few hundred rounds to it just to break it in but this uh this muzzle brake people talk shit about this muzzle brake but <laughs> it's really it's really just for looks like it's not it's like a concussive grenade pretty much it's it's not meant to negate recoil which it definitely will negate a lot of recoil but 223 doesn't have that much recoil to begin with, so it's not gonna be, it's just gonna be make it 
way more pleasurable to shoot, especially when you're standing behind it. If you're standing next to it, I'm sure this shit's gonna suck. But maybe get a flashlight. Uh, this is just a solo fish. I like solo fish, but the the way that you grip it is kind of it's kind of awkward. You don't get the uh, to grip. You have to adjust your grip just to get the flashlight on. But um, that's all with practice. Once you practice, it'll get it'll get better. Um, I have a QD mount uh, way up at the front, so I do usually have a brace on here. Definitely. Uh, B5 Industries, I'm sure they make braces, but, you know, all you got to do is just slide it on. It's just an A2 buffer tube. Um, yeah, so those are pretty much the things that I would do to keep it, keep it uh, feeling premium, even though it's definitely not a premium build. This is not like a Daniel Defense. Everybody get the Daniel Defense or uh, Sons of Liberty. There's nothing like that. This is just a regular smeggler. Stop it. Get some help. AR that you, anybody can get. Anybody who's not a felon and doesn't have any criminal history with violence can get this this uh, firearm. Uh, I definitely suggest uh, maybe getting getting a PSA. PSAs they they've got they're a great company. If anything breaks on it, you just let them know. I'm sure PSA Matt will get back to you in any of the forums on Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, or anything. Just message them and let them know. Um, so those are going to be the things that I would do to make your AR feel a little bit more premium. If you like that video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I appreciate everybody coming through. Um, yeah, so I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.